Roseanne just announced she's leaving the U.S. and it's sure to tick off every liberal. This past week the embattled Roseanne Barr sat down for a new podcast with Rabbi Shmuley Botich. During the interview, she confirmed that she cut a record in Nashville and is already well on her way working on a new script for another sitcom. But perhaps the best part of the interview was when she was asked about the show that is replacing the one of her namesake, The Connors that is debuting in the fall. She says she will be far away in order to avoid seeing it. And by far away she means in Israel. I have an opportunity to go to Israel for a few months and study with my favorite teachers over there, and that's where I'm going to go and probably move somewhere there and study with my favorite teachers, the actress said in a new podcast with Rabbi Shmuley Botich. This has been only the latest of many such appearances with the rabbi. I have saved a few pennies and I'm so lucky I can go, and study with any rabbi that I can ask to teach me, and it's my great joy and privilege to be a Jewish woman. Bard did say she wishes no ill will on anyone still associated with the show. I'm not going to curse it or bless it, she said. I'm staying neutral. That's what I do. I'm staying neutral. I'm staying away from it. Not wishing bad on anyone and I don't wish good for my enemies. I don't. I can't. I just stay neutral. That's what I gotta do. I have some mental health issues of depression and stuff. I got to stay in the middle or I'll go dark, and I don't want to go dark again. I've done it. After all, I was married to Tom Arnold. Ha ha. Bard did say she didn't want to watch the show. Or even read or hear any commentary surrounding it because she predicts the pundits will write that she was never good anyways and that they are glad she's gone. This would tempt her to respond and things won't end well again. I'll call Elon Musk and tell himself to fuck himself or something and then I'll go to jail. I can't stop myself. Once I go dark, I'd rather stay light. I don't like Hollywood. I'm leaving California because I'm sure it's going to fall into the sea soon," she added. Later in the interview, she revealed that she actually went to Nashville to cut a record as she confirmed that she has always dreamed of being a singer, I'm singing and getting better, she said. I'm not great, or even good, but I'm better. As far as her the whole ordeal with the liberal ABC, her worst regret is apologizing for the tweet. My friends told me at the beginning, oh my god, you made a fatal mistake, and that is you apologize to the left and once you apologize they never forgive, they just try to beat you down until you don't exist, she said, adding, it's just sad. She continued, I should never have said I'm sorry in their world. In my world, I had to because I was sorry. For crying out loud, I was sorry. People were so angry and, I have to say, a little bit ill-informed about me that they would put me in the same box where they have people who call for the death of all Jews and want to enslave all black people, real racists that actually exist. They put me in this box with them, and how do they think that's going to affect me? They don't, and they're under mind control. She went on, maybe there's some things you guys don't know because it doesn't evoke feeling in you but it's actually fact, and facts matter. People have got to stick to science, scientific fact, logic, data, proof, numbers, people have got to go for that and not emotions. This is an unprecedented period in American history. Get the facts. Arm yourself with them. Several celebrities had threatened to move out of the country, but didn't, if Trump won. Barbara Streisand was one of them. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.